Tips to keep your skin healthy in summer. In order for your skin to remain radiant and healthy throughout the hot summer, it needs special care. Due to heat, wind, sea salt and active sun, the skin becomes weakened. What are the important skin care tips to follow, read in our material. Drink a lot. Heat dehydrates your body and makes your skin even more prone to damage. You need to take care of daily hydration. Particular attention should be paid to the area around the eyes. To do this, you need to choose the right cream. In case of lack of sleep, use patches that will take away dark circles and swelling. It is necessary to use a moisturizer that contains vitamin E. It will help maintain elasticity and moisture. Cleanse your skin thoroughly. On hot days, when there is no rain for a long time, we are surrounded by a large amount of dust. Therefore, it should be remembered that this can be an ideal environment for the development of bacteria. Under no circumstances should you sleep with makeup on. Since through contaminated pores, a rash may appear in the morning. Peeling. After the winter period, the top layer of the skin thickens, scars and irregularities appear, it begins to peel off. To get rid of this, do regular deep cleanings. As a result of peeling, the skin of your face is literally renewed, becomes healthier and fresher. When dead cells are removed, the color of the skin, its elasticity, and its tone increase. Protect. All summer products you use must contain sunscreen. After applying the cream, a film is created that acts as a protective barrier against dangerous sun rays and weakens their effect. Lighten up. Summer is a time for relaxation and naturalness. Change the amount of makeup you use. Minimal use of matte shades will create an image of lightness and simplicity. It is very important that in the summer decorative products there are ultraviolet filters. How to take care of your skin in summer. Doctor's recommendations. Gone are the days when our skin suffered from cold, wind, heaters, and dry air. The season of heat, dust, and sweat has come. With questions about how to keep the skin of the face beautiful, and even make it even healthier, we turn to a dermatovenereologist, a cosmetologist. Why does our skin get worse in summer? Summer heat increases the work of the sebaceous glands, the skin can become more shiny, and excess sebum collects all skin impurities during the day. Do you need special care in the summer or can we do the same thing with the face all year round? What is especially important to pay attention to? Regardless of the season, it is necessary to cleanse the skin twice a day, in the morning and in the evening, and if it is very hot, then more times during the day can be. The main rule is not to use aggressive products that dry out the skin, otherwise it will only start producing sebum more strongly. Choose gentle cleansers that do not destroy the skin's protective hydrolipid mantle. However, the change of seasons brings with it a change in skin care products. Fatty and dense creams can now be replaced with light moisturizers and emulsions. One of the main features of care in the summer is the use of creams with SPF and UVA protection. How to take care of sensitive skin in summer. Use warm water for washing, hot or cold water is not recommended, they can cause additional irritation. After washing, pat your face dry, but do not rub it with a towel, and then apply the cream. The cream should contain moisturizing and soothing ingredients, hyaluronic acid, shea butter, neurosensin, squalene, olantoin. During the day, you can use thermal water, it will protect and soothe the skin. Due to the content of natural salts and trace elements, thermal water is able to penetrate deep into the skin and restore the balance of trace elements that are lost as a result of sweating in the heat. And what about the owners of oily skin? In summer, oily and combination skin needs a good cleansing more than ever. To remove impurities from the surface of the skin, you can use masks with algae or clay. Masks can be done every other day and alternate moisturizing and cleansing. As for the care procedures, I can recommend mesotherapy in procedures with currents of various frequencies. Currents change the ionic charge of cells, help to cleanse the epidermis of toxins. What care products are important to cancel for the summer? In the summer, 
the use of products that include acids and retinol is undesirable. They make the skin sensitive to UV light. But if you do not want to exclude these products from your care, then apply them only at night, and use a sunscreen with a maximum factor during the day. What salon procedures are useful in summer and why? The most universal are procedures for active moisturizing of the skin. They are suitable for everyone, regardless of age and skin type, especially after prolonged exposure to the sun. It is also worth considering treatments for sensitive skin prone to rosacea, anti-inflammatory treatments for skin with acne problems and lymphatic drainage treatments, because in summer, in the heat, all these problems can intensify. How does diet and lifestyle affect our skin? There used to be a huge number of theories about this. Some made a direct connection between nutrition and skin condition, others placed more emphasis on heredity in proper care, believing that nutrition and lifestyle are not critical. What is your point of view? It cannot be denied that 20 years ago the environment was different, food was different, people's health was different. Then genetics really played an important role. Now it also plays a big role, but the life of a modern person is stressful, besides, our body does not receive important nutrients, which means that it lacks the building material for our cells. The skin also suffers from all this. This usually manifests itself in dullness, dryness, rashes and swelling. The skin works independently for up to 30 years, then the metabolic processes slow down and lifestyle and proper cosmetic care are important to maintain its youth and health. The skin is a mirror that reflects the internal state of the body. Well, lifestyle plays an important role. If you smoke a few packs of cigarettes a day, drink liters of coffee, go to bed at 4 in the morning and are constantly on the road, this, of course, is reflected very strongly on the skin. If you return to home care, what is the most important thing in it? Properly selected cosmetics. And, of course, the well-known triad, cleansing, moisturizing and nutrition. In your experience, what are the most common skin care mistakes women make? Surprisingly, most people still do not know how to wash themselves properly. Some wash their faces simply with water, or with soap and water, neglect special products, complaining that cleansing milk leaves them feeling sticky. This once again brings us back to the question of the importance of the right tools. It is important not only to choose them according to the type of skin, but also according to the comfort of use for the person himself. Some people like greasy creams, some don't. But the worst thing is when girls, not only with soap and water, but generally neglect washing, going to bed with makeup on. I can also note an excessive passion for scrubs, they are often used more often than necessary, and literally injure their skin. They also use creams at the wrong time. Timely skin care with the help of cosmeceuticals and regular visits to a beautician, how much can all this together delay the appointment of a plastic surgeon? It all depends on individual characteristics. Surgeons began to often say that the circular facelift is no longer so popular precisely because of the progress of modern cosmetology. With favorable factors, I think, even up to 60 you can do without plastic surgery. But on the condition that, again, without fanaticism. So it turns out that both excessive passion for cosmetic procedures and the absence of these procedures are equally harmful to the skin? Yes, that's right, it is important to find a middle ground. There are also patients who come to the beautician for the first time at the age of 50. Universal advice from a beautician that you could give to everyone on personal care. This applies to both visits to the beautician and home care. In general, half the success depends on home care. First of all, there should be awareness, the ability to filter information. Now how is it going? You've been advertised for a blackhead scrub or, God forbid, a facial brush. And everyone is starting to use it. But this is harmful, because it severely injures the skin. If you want to understand something for yourself, without visiting specialists, read professional forums. There are many platforms where specialists communicate and where you can get information, understand what type of skin you have, and choose care. And, of course, I repeat, 
cleanse, moisturize and nourish the skin with the right products and do not forget to make masks once a week, depending on the needs and problems of your skin.